It's time for friends, it's time for laughs, it's time for the Minecraft Podcast. Welcome to episode 68 of the Minecraft Podcast. With us this week, a very special guest, one by the name of CoStar. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> How you doing? Not why, bad, how's it going? Why are we all laughing at his name? Yeah. I don't get it. No, it's just the way he said, hello. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> so, Co, how uh, how are things in the world of Co Star? Not bad. Been uh, having a lot of fun doing the Gmod stuff with the mm-hmm. boys here. Mm-hmm. Nice doing videos again. My channel's been, I guess, I had stopped in, what, like May? So it's it was um, it's almost been a year, and then... Suddenly, Gmod. Dude, so so many <laughs> tears were had when you you said goodbye to people. Yeah. Way to but break, it's good to be back. Way to break all those thousands of hearts, you jerk. I uh, know, I'm an asshole. Yeah, <laughs> but now you're, now you're back doing like daily live streams, right? Yeah, yeah. I've been. Uh, I started that back in October, I think, or well, 120 days ago. Whenever the fuck that is. <laughs> I'm not good at math. No, you got you got to count the days, dude. You got to tell us. Oh, oh, God. Uh, <laughs> Do you stream like every single day? Like every yeah. single the day? Algebra calendar? Yeah, thing? so the whole thing wow. is like I, I I was bad at myself for like not being consistent with shit. So I just made it a goal of like no matter what, I'm going to stream every day. Is and there so a, I, is there like I a, do that every night. Is there a set amount of days you're trying to stream for or is it just whatever? Is there a minimum it's, amount of time you stream for as well? Well, it's it's open ended at the moment, but I was pretty inspired by um, there's a, there's another streamer whose name is Lethal Frag, and he did two, year two years solid consecutive. Oh my gosh! Wow! Yeah. And I was really impressed. You know, he he did he did that entire length of time. So I mean, I'm not like trying to copy him or set a specific goal like that, but you're trying to beat him. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's cool. Seth said something to me the other day that's interesting okay. about. Um, uh, goals, and he said he doesn't like setting goals because once he reaches them, then he loses interest in whatever it was he was doing. Or if he doesn't reach them, then he beats himself up about it. So I think just continuing to yeah. strive to do the best you can at whatever you're doing is better than setting a goal to either mm-hmm. disappoint yourself or then lose interest once you reach. I think uh, Lethal yeah. Frag is actually kind of worried about that because you know people are there to watch you succeed, but then it's like, well, there's nothing to really cheer you on for, so why should I watch? But he still has, he still maintains all the viewerships, and I still watch him. On a every day, not every day, but like every other day basis. Is he like, still yeah. going? No, he's he's done. He he streams five days a week now. <laughs> he died. Yeah. The, well, the the objective that he had was to get to a point where he could sort of turn it into like a work week. So mm-hmm. now he has like a regular schedule, and he takes a couple of days off, which is much more you know reasonable and healthy. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I, I agree with that. Like, it was more about just creating motivation. Rather, it's like small goals. Mm-hmm. Rather than a big goal that you can either fail or succeed at, so yeah, I think you're one of the most requested guests we've had on the podcast. People, um, and I think that might be because we all kind of come together at an early time in Minecraft. Um, for those that don't know, me and Co met for almost four years ago now. I guess mm-hmm. um, we were invited to do this Minecraft stream thing with by a guy named Mickley. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. <laughs> and like the closer it came to it, the more I was like, "This feels really like a scam or something. Something's weird about this whole thing." And so I remember seeing you on the list of people that were supposed to be part of it and contacting you, and that's how I, I got into meeting Nvidia and Michael and like the Spawn and all that stuff. So yeah, it's yeah. great. It's crazy. How- we all met on on the Reddit's. Yeah, the Reddit. <laughs> Reddit. Dude, <laughs> thank you for thinking it's a scam because we met all these cool peoples. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Co ended up not doing the stream, I remember. Yeah, um, I know yeah. and Michael still ended up doing it, but yeah. There was, was a weird, scam? funny like thing that happened around that time where that was like a response to something else that was kind of shady. So it, or people thought was shady. I mean it was like everybody jumped ship from one thing to that thing where we met, and then we jumped ship from that to I don't even know what else. <laughs> but all these little communities formed during that time. It was really yeah. interesting. I remember we were talking there for a while about trying to do a stream too. We were there was like some mm-hmm. C version of the Minecraft server that was being made, and we were going to use that because <laughs> this was promising that you could have a thousand people on the server and stuff at once. Yep, I don't yep. Know if you remember all that? Yeah. 
But no, it didn't end up being a scam, but the guy did end up being, like, kind of doing it for his own personal gain and stuff like that. So it was, I guess, well, kind yeah. of a scam. Weird, but. weird stuff happened, and it was a weird mix of people because, um, like, Yogg's cast did participate in that. And that was when they were really at the height of the, um, what was that character? The Zeph. Oh, Raf- 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 Israfel. Is- Israfel. Israfel, yeah. 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 Shadows yeah. Of- they were at the height of that thing. Yeah. yeah so there was, there was all these, like, newly starting people who like I think a number of them like went on to be big now but they were small then and then there was Yogg's cast where it was like they were freaking gigantic so there was tons of people there for Yogg's cast who were just wrecking all these little people like get off get off of here you know, oh man yeah I remember yeah. that I think Satori was on right before or something I remember I was oh, on yeah, a call yeah. someone right before Yogg's and it was like just scary because <laughs> they oh, was like yeah. get out get out they were ravenous <laughs> yeah uh, I think well, Minecraft speak- Jack even was part of that stream. But yeah, anyways, speaking of scams. Spe- speaking of scams, you want to talk about this <laughs> meeting of minds stuff? Um, for <laughs> just a brief history, it was it's a convention that happened in Florida. Uh, Florida's right, right? Now, what the heck is this? Like, further, I'm so confused. I've never heard of meeting of minds. No, well, is, is, Florida is this, was or the is first this scam. Not, yeah, is this or is this not connected to the one in New York? It is not yeah, the, connected the, the New York to the one. Right. It's not? No, the New York minor <laughs> one I'm thinking about is the convention that's happening in New York, and it's happened in June, and we haven't really talked about it a lot because we don't really have any proof. The one we did this. think was a scam. Right. We, here's here's the, the backstory on that is, um, which we're going on, we're, we're already off on a tangent past meeting of minds. We'll have to come back. <laughs> um, well, it's, it's important that people do know. Yeah, but the thing is, it's a lot of speculation. Um, I mean, my my attorney has done some background checks and stuff like that, and some of the things we were able to bring to light, we shared with Multiplay and Mojang and stuff, and a lot of people have backed out of the Minorama since then. Um, The way the Minorama thing worked is that we originally contacted about all the Minecraft coming to New York for Minorama, and... We they sent us a contract. They you know because they generally whenever we go to con, uh, conventions we don't get flown out. We don't get paid. Our hotels paid for like Minecon all those things. We pay for everything ourselves. Um, but so this is one of the first times that really someone's asked us to come and they said they would pay for our flights and for our hotels. Um, and so we started looking at it and they sent us a contract to cover all that. And uh, after about a month of or about three weeks of going back and forth, they had a deadline of December the 3rd, I believe it was, to release a video to promote this convention that doesn't happen until June. And the contract was like a standard bullet plate um, actor contract that covered a lot of things, and some of it was like they were going to get health and life insurance on all of us, and in the event that we died, we wouldn't even be able to tap any of that money. It would go directly to them, and we would not receive any of it. Um, (laughs) They were going to kill us. Well, right, well, that's what I started saying. I said, this whole thing's an elaborate scam to get all these million-dollar life insurance policies and murder us. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll take care of your flight. No problem. <laughs> Next thing you're in Malaysia. In the <laughs> <Holy personal>. <laughs> Was that too soon? I'm sorry. <laughs> no. I mean, uh, yes, but... I don't know why I said no. <laughs> no, that was definitely no, not too soon, Kyle. You can continue timing. making jokes about that. <laughs> Uh, but some of the other shady, I mean, my lawyer uh, went back and forth on this contract. We sent them like seven revisions, and then it was like the night before December 3rd, and they were pushed in the envelope where you all have to make a video and and and, and promote this thing, and we just, it was not going to happen. Um, and, you know, Multiplay was supposed to be involved too. They were looking at the stuff that we were looking at, um, and everyone just ended up backing out, except for, you know, there, there are some YouTubers that are still going and stuff, and I really, really hope it's not a scam. Um, there was an article in Forbes about it the other day, and basically it confirmed a lot of the stuff that we had speculated on, which was what we thought was happening was the revenue was not the, – the capital was not there to actually rent the convention center. I called the convention center, and they confirmed that it was – the contract was not signed at that point, even though they were telling us it was. Um, yeah, it was to uh, sell the tickets to pay for the thing kind of yes. thing. Yes. So it's it's really possible that this is going to be a great convention and everyone's going to leave it happy, but the way that it w- came about initially was really kind of shady or scary um, in a way that, you know, there's there's no reason for us to put our names behind something and then you guys all buy tickets and buy hotel rooms and all this stuff and then they don't get the revenue. Because even if they refund ticket prices, like they say they couldn't they couldn't get the money to, to – um, to pay for the for the venue, if they even if they refund ticket prices, people have already bought hotels and airfare and stuff. So I just, I mean, none of us really wanted to attach our name to something that could potentially scam a lot of people for money. Um, but you know, that said, the convention hasn't happened yet, and it may end up being great. But 
there is a convention that wasn't great, and that was called Meeting of the Minds, and I'm pretty sure that was in Florida. You're and pretty, what happened, pretty sure. <laughs> pretty sure. <laughs> That's seriously sure. <laughs> After Denny? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Before we started the podcast, I was trying to talk about dinner, and some reason I said we were having Denny. So <laughs> that's Anyways. like the cutest way to say dinner. Come here, little co. It's time for Denny time. Oh boy, I can't wait to have some Denny time. Uh, but I, I just want to say on the on the one in Florida, I watched the the news video about it, and my favorite part of the the thing. <laughs> Is when they showed like the picture of the like wrecked couch that was at the Florida convention. Like that was a like that was a majorly th- bad thing. Like this couch was just wrecked. It was the couches were terrible. <laughs> there was well, no I, for couches at this convention. It was them giving out boxes of pens as prizes as well. It, it yeah, really, it looked like it was like a, a homeless shelter that they had uh, brought all these kids to. <laughs> The only video I, that I saw, another, it was just a, it was like a huge empty warehouse, and there's just kids dancing and they're playing music in the background. That's about all that's happening. While someone's yeah, shouting, "No refunds!" <laughs> <laughs> How have I not heard of this? I have like, Bebop Vox did a pretty good video on it where he talks about a lot of it. And Bebop was supposed to be the host at Minorama, and he's another one of the people that was in that group chat where we, you know, tried to get all the data we could and ended up backing out. Um, but yeah, they just giving out pins, and that was like it. And they had like a face painter. Yeah, it was really sad. I think that one was another one where they really wanted to have something big, and they didn't couldn't get any backers or get anyone that was interested in it. And then it just kind of fell through. But then they were also saying like we got you know these game companies involved and stuff, and that wasn't true. So I don't know. It's all. But scams. they went through with it anyway. So they yeah. just have like this big awkward thing where you have all these people's kids in front of some people who didn't. There's like nothing happening. Right. That was a, that was a sad thing. There was like clips of, of, of kids who were getting tickets for their birthday and stuff, and they yeah. were really excited. And I was like, yeah. You know. Why would you go through with it at that point when you know that you don't have anything? Yeah. Yeah, it's just really sad. Hopefully, we don't see a lot of this continuing to happen. I think most people are worried, you know, because they don't want to. They don't want to put their name on this type of stuff. So I'm glad think- that they have Minecon and that they're. Keeping hold of it at least. Apparently, people are buying person. tickets for like two hundred dollars. Jesus, yeah. Jesus Christ! Wow. Well, one, one person will do it, and then you know they'll either get away with it or they won't, as the case may be. In, in this instance, and then that will probably be it. Hopefully, mm-hmm. people will be a bit more, you know, turned on to it. Good, you mentioned Minecon briefly. Uh, I don't know. It's been officially announced that it's going to be in Europe next year, right? Yeah. Yep. Good. Ooh. Lydia tweeted out Europe. Any speculations? Yep, I think it's I've going already, to be Birmingham. Yeah, I've already spoke. We, we answered that a little while back. Yeah, but now it's official. That it's yeah. Going to be in yeah. Europe. So I know. That just proves how, how right we are. Wow. Mm-hmm. Look at this guy. <laughs> Do I owe you some Denny? Maybe it could be somewhere else. It's probably going to be like, maybe it's in Bulgaria. Maybe Jenny's involved. <laughs> Bulgaria. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> I'm, back, I'm actually happy it's in Europe. I, I think I might stay like an extra week or so. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's what you need, more vacation time. What, what the fuck was my last vacation, asshole? <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. There is no last vacation. Wait, there wait, is no last wait, vacation. Wait, wait, wait. Did you go to the hockey vacation. game the other day? Did you go to the hockey game? That's not a vacation. Wait, hold on, hold on. We have to, we, 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 remember, we have a checklist. Did you have <laughs> to get on a boat? No. Are you sure? Did you have you to did get not, on a boat? did not take boat? a ferry. No. Or or a plane. Plane. All right, it's probably not a vacation then. I'm just lying. I knew it! <laughs> I took a ferry, it was it's a vacation. It's not a fucking vacation, though. I think if you stay more than one night in one place, it's a vacation. Did you stay more than one night? Nope. So you got an boat. island or something. I didn't even stay in the place 24 hours. So you left as soon as the game was over? a over? short vacation. I stayed I, I, I stayed one night. I say it's a vacation. Fuck! <laughs> well, then. Um, did I have a double vacation, then? Because I had Chipotle twice out there. <laughs> <laughs> like... I have to add it to the checklist, Chipotle. All right. Chipotle. <laughs> Chipotle is one of the things. If you have Chipotle on a boat, you've like vacation squared. I, I just watched that news coverage. I'm, I'll, I'll put this in the description. That that was so freaking sad looking, that fucking convention. Yeah. Like, who, I wonder who was like the music artist there. Like, they, they must have been like, this is the Oh, the, the musician actually that was hired actually apologized or something on Twitter for how bad it was. Was it DJ Pickle? <laughs> and I don't think it was DJ Pickle. Pickle. No, DJ Pickle's <laughs> legit, bro. Hopefully we see him at... Oh, wait, we're not going to VidCon. Are we going to VidCon? I don't know what's going no, on. No, we can sit there and play on Con. More Con talk. 
Game right. Expo is finished, and Good uh, was the only one there in this group. So tell us all about it, Good. You know, it's crazy because it was the first time, this first year convention, for, and I was kind of worried going. I mean, I knew it wasn't a scam like we just talked about, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was worried because, you know, you don't, you never know a first time around, but it was really good. Um, I wish more people could have been there. I think only a thousand people <sighs> were able to attend. I wish you would come, Paul. I'm so sad I didn't go. Honestly, like just watching like the paddles and just like watching you get puked on, I was like, fuck, I should have really been there. <laughs> You know? what, ha- what happened? Uh, <laughs> I'll get to the puke on, but the, oh, okay. just real briefly, the the content that was at this convention was better than a lot of conventions I've been to as far as the talks and stuff. But since there was only a thousand people there, a lot of people were there for Smite, so they were at the Smite tournament and stuff. Um, like the, the the panel that I uploaded yesterday, which was me, Total Biscuit, and Paintball Kitty, where we're talking about the points of being with the network or not being with the network. That's something that really could have filled a room of a thousand people and. It's all like great information to have, but I think there was probably only twenty people in the room because you know it's a small convention. Um, but really? uh, only twenty? Yeah, that's a, that'd be my estima- estimation. That's um, crazy. Like I, I thought that like even Total Biscuit would kind of lure more people in than that. No, like even you know because his panel his his panel happened after the Minecraft panel, and I'd say we had about fifty or so, and he had about the same for the Minecraft panel. I mean, our but stream, when, you know, we had way more mm-hmm. than that. Of course, when but, Paul says Total Biscuit, he meant you. What? No. <laughs> No, no, no. Total Biscuit uh, attracts the people. Good repels them. That's yeah. why it only ended up at 20. Dude, <laughs> I have a question. <laughs> My question. What does sure. Total Biscuit smell like? <laughs> Candy Total and raisins. Biscuits. Like biscuits. Biscuits. Oh, Candy okay. and raisins. What? They're delicious. Both Candy and things. raisins. <laughs> That's a really weird specific That's a wide smell. Spectrum. Yeah. like. <laughs> Don't you worry about it. My smell preferences. <laughs> you know what I was really sad about, Good? I, I sad that they didn't stream that uh, that that panel that you, Kitty, and uh, TB were on. Yeah, they were like, supposed to stream both rooms, and so they messed up in the second room, and so they weren't able to. So I was well, watching, you can watch I was, it on Good's channel. Yeah, you can watch it on Good's channel, but it just... If I, I felt like a lot of people could have like absorbed a lot of information just because like there's so many people who have like different backgrounds in there, and there's just like a lot of information about YouTube, and it was just... They- they Overall, can absorb really all that information on Goo's channel. That's youtube.com slash <laughs> well, that, was, that was a huge... I'll, I'll, like, I'll put the link in the description for that, too. There was, a, there was a huge spread there of knowledge, too, mm-hmm. which is really crazy, because I didn't know who Paintball Kitty was, but um, actually, I've forgotten who she is already. I've heard her name <laughs> but, thrown out there before, but... <laughs> she runs she runs FPS Russia. Just to, Oh, right, just right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, like, with, with Minecraft, and then also Maker, and... FPS Russia and all, all the stuff that they've done. It's such a wide... It covers so many people and so much stuff that's been done on YouTube that it's its a really interesting thing to see the three of you s- sitting up there talking together about it. Yeah, it was it was really nice to meet her, too. I, I wasn't familiar with her prior, and I've talked to her some on Skype and stuff since then, and she's she, apparently she's known as the queen of YouTube. I didn't realize this either, but she's helped tons of people get out of contracts with Machinima where they were in the life <laughs> contracts and stuff. Really? <laughs> Yeah, so she's she's done a lot to help a lot of people, um, and she just the amount of knowledge she has is more than I've ever met as far as YouTube goes. For me, when I met anyone, um, so do you do you think this is going to be a, a convention that's going to happen like annually? Like, do they yes. plan on doing something again? They didn't like that it happened right before PAX. Um, yeah, that was one of the biggest complaints they got: people couldn't go to both. So it sounds like now this is not confirmed or anything, but it sounds like they're going to try to change the date. So it might actually happen again in 2014, and then after that it will be annually. So they might change the date, run it again this year, and then like sometime later in the year, like October, November, and then from that point on, it will always be October, November, something like that. I just uh, I, I thought it was crazy how many like YouTubers were there too. Like it just blew my mind how many actually showed up to like such a small convention. Yeah, yeah. It was honestly, I've never been treated so well at a convention by someone that asked me to come, and this was the first time my hotel's been paid for at a convention, so that was cool too. Um, they didn't pay for my flight though, <laughs> uh, <laughs> which is messed up. Like the the flight was really cheap because it's just to Atlanta, right? But I booked it wrong. I didn't realize I did it until like two nights before, and like Seth was asking me what time I land. I sent him my information. He's like, "Yeah, that's way wrong. You, you're not even coming in on the right day." And I was like. Holy crap! So yeah, it was like took <laughs> me to fix that. So I was an idiot, but so but I did get puked on, and that was not yeah. Cool. Tell us yeah. all about that. So they uh, <laughs> again was talking about how this is the best I've ever been treated at a convention. They had these VIP parties every night, which is something you don't see a lot of conventions. That was really cool. 
except it had an open bar. And that's great unless you're with a bunch of people who don't know how to control their liquor. So they had one bartender. <laughs> One bartender, and you would think that would be a problem, but it wasn't because she was the best bartender you've ever seen in your life. She was the fastest ever, pouring more liquor in there than you ever should, and so that's great, except <laughs> whenever people don't know what they're doing. So some guy, I don't know who he was, complete stranger. I'm standing there. I just got another drink at the bar. I'm standing there I'm talking to someone, and normally I would probably be able to remember who I was talking to, but this really did, like, fuck up my mind. Um <laughs> I glance over, and this guy is in another conversation. He turns his head and just blows chunks. Oh. <laughs> oh. And it was no. like in the movies when you get shot, and the guy just stands there and watches the blood seep out of his chest. That's what I did for I don't know how long. <laughs> but when I looked back up, the guy was gone. He didn't say anything to me. He just ran away. What? Did you feel sick? Like, did you, like, were you high? I think uh, I was in a state of shock. Did, because did you start at the Mexican wave? <laughs> like I I I don't know why I did not just instantly puke because like even like I don't know like you see me when I get like stuff on my hands paws it fucks yeah. to my head right well puke like, on my leg oh, I'm okay yeah. with that I'm okay with that <laughs> oh god yeah, but I gotta I wipe my fingers every single time otherwise I get sick <laughs> but I've got food on my fingers that I'm eating. Ah, wipe it off. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens with goon. It's ridiculous. And another thing, if you guys want to like do something gross in front of goon, is put a sandwich on a table in front of him and then pick it up and eat it. He Please hates don't that. Do that. Uh, that's <laughs> how the Black Plague got started. Sandwich I'm with goon on, on that one. Man. <laughs> yeah, but it's, I don't find it's like like gag worthy. Uh. <laughs> See, it's like. It's, it's already affecting him too, right? But now. yeah, no. Once those chunks start blowing, they get the whiff of the smell. That's it. That's oh, see, like that, that's oh, one yeah. thing that is like, like these parties in like these bars is always like really hot and humid in there. I just think that the smell oh, just would well, hit your liquor, nose. Is, oh. Liquor barf is a little bit weirder though. It depends on if they've had a lot of yeah. or something beforehand. But if it's just a bunch of liquor, it's generally not gonna. It's not gonna be like you know. Elementary How many times have you been puked on Co? Like it sounds like you have a lot of background knowledge <laughs> I've, on this. I've been fortunate enough not to to get puked on. I was even in one of those situations where it's like a choir and there's somebody on the top row decides to blast, <laughs> but I somehow managed to not be directly underneath of that. So lucky me, I guess. But we uh, flew into Baltimore the, uh, last month. Um, it was quite a bumpy flight coming in. It's the first time I've you know, I really felt ill on a plane for a long time, and. Just as we landed, there was a kid about three rows in front. It's kind of been, what, four or five? Just blew into the bag, you know. Um, and everybody, was, it was that point <sighs> between you, the plane's just about to stop, and it's warm, and then, you know, you just got the waft coming down the aisle, and, and, and I was right on the brink then. But, Give the uh, blower on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <gasps> <laughs> Breathing the cold air. <sighs> I don't God. know what that guy ate because it was all like white stringy stuff, and it wasn't like noodles. String so, cheese. I don't know. Yes, that's basically what it would look like. String cheese. He probably didn't have enough to eat at all. That's probably why he puked. Yeah. Um, but eventually, I moved to the bathroom, and I didn't actually do anything but stand there and scream and make a vine and make a vine. vine. I don't remember making that vine though. I swear to you, I don't remember. Did you see doing the response on Reddit? This fucking vomit on my leg. Let's find this. <laughs> oh my God! Someone just puked on my leg. <laughs> <laughs> so that, someone was that's like, that, that's what I did. Because yeah. someone was like, that, that doesn't sound like dude's voice. And Vaughn was like, that's his, someone's puked on me voice. We don't yeah. hear it very often. <laughs> <laughs> that pretty much sums it up. Eventually, two strangers came along and cleaned me off. Really? <laughs> yes. Hey. Yes. I, I don't know what would have, I don't know what would have ever happened that would have made me stop screaming and pointing at my leg. Because I, I don't know. <laughs> like, I, was, I, was, I was out. I was done. Uh, look, I, I'm, I'm pretty like, what what is that fucking called? It's like um when you're afraid of germs and stuff. Germophobe? No, there's like a sciencey term. Oh. Well. H word. It's not hemophiliac. That's where you can't <laughs> that's where your blood comes out of your skin or something. <laughs> <laughs> Let's call it hemophilia. Good enough. Good enough. Hypochondriac. Hypochondriac, yeah. That's what's Well, up. that's when you think you have all kinds of diseases. Yeah, that's when you like go to the doctor, I think I have cancer because I sneezed today. It's like you just think it? Oh, yeah. well, maybe I'm just a germaphobe then. Yeah. But whatever the case, I would have a problem. I would have a problem in that situation too. I assume you were just standing there, like, how do I, how do I get out of these pants without <laughs> yeah, involving vomit and everything else in my life? 
How yeah, do I not like, back through completely naked? <laughs> like, I, well, I, yeah, I, I guess you were kind of trapped there. <laughs> I bet you these people like saw you in like the bathroom. Your lips were blue just because you're like in shock, <laughs> and then they're like having a calm you down while they're cleaning you. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Wrap you in a blanket, give you. They don't even give you water. They just rub water in your lip. What is this? Like you got sunstroke or something? I don't know what I'm talking Elliptic about. Anymore. Fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> if you listen to that, you're on. Yeah, coming into the bathroom about that time because one guy you can hear him in the background. He's saying, "Yo, yo, you gotta," and that's all you can hear him say in the vine. But yeah, I don't. I don't really know. I remember I gave both of them my personal business card, which is nothing I don't give anybody because it's got like my first and last name, my phone number, you name it. And I was like, if you ever need anything, you just call. <laughs> and then we left. I left the bathroom after they cleaned me off. And then Seth and Chad were there, and they just kind of grabbed me and took me away. And then we we got in a cab and went back to the hotel. And I, I took a shower and got rid of my clothes. And then some at some point later that like night, clothes. I was I had a breakdown in Seth's room. I remember I was on the floor crying about oh something. <laughs> it ruined my night, man. It, my brain could not handle this. It, it was yes. Kurt Damn. described it when it was his first convention as it was too much, so my brain just left and was just like, all right, body, you're on your own. And that's basically what it was. So <laughs> if you ever puke on me, I will have you all know. If anyone ever pukes on me again, I'm going to punch you in the face because otherwise you're probably just going to run off and I won't ever get the chance. So <laughs> I've made this resolution. I, just I think about the story that, that guy's right telling. And the thing is, it was a VIP party, so somebody knows who this motherfucker is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it wasn't just open to the public, right? So right, right. It was closed off room, so somebody somewhere knows the puker. If He's you have any information right on this He's... puker, <laughs> be sure to email us at mycrackLP. He's He's on this <laughs> trend. I totally puked on this guy, and he just started screaming and ran to the bathroom. I don't think I screamed it until I got into the bathroom. But I'm not. I don't even know who I was talking to at the bar. If you were the person that was being talked to at the bar by me, we'd love to hear your side of the story too. <laughs> Email us at podcast at mycrackLP.com. Maybe the puker guy ran to the bathroom and he was actually quietly hiding in a stall after he heard you come in screaming. <laughs> what if he's the one the who? Whole time. What if he's the one who cleaned you up and you just completely blanked out and forgot his face until I, like? I don't think so. I'm yeah, I don't know, man. It That's could happen. I just can't imagine that situation. Like, who are the strangers that did that awesomeness for you? Because. It seems like in real life, if somebody you know like found me in a bathroom having that problem, they would just kick me, <laughs> right? Or something like, "What's your problem, bitch?" Laughing at yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Remember them kept saying to me, "Just put your face on." Remember, you're a professional. Put your face on. Like whenever we were we were leaving the bathroom, and I was like, "What face? I don't have a face." <laughs> <sighs> yeah. You're lucky, man. That's awesome. Good story. Yeah, that's tor- terrible, but awesome. I think yeah. it's cr- like like Co said. It's just. Crazy to think that there's people out there who'd actually help you, not just you in general, but like, <laughs> right? If, yeah. if I found someone in the wash with like puke on their legs, I'd just be like, "Ooh, what the hell?" No, yeah, no, I wouldn't help it. I would never. <laughs> ever. There's no way. Like humanity. Well, I think. Yeah, I think if you see somebody with puke on their legs, you think, Bleh. "If you see someone with puke on their legs screaming, somebody puked on me," you're probably a bit, <laughs> a bit more likely to help them. <laughs> Yeah, but like I don't know, seeing vomit makes me want to vomit. So it's just like, like even when you're talking about like the the kid puking on the, the airplane, just just thinking about it, just <laughs> like the thought of the smell, just ah. Like like if you go to the grocery store and there's some unknown liquid on the floor and you're kind of like, mm, oh no 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 no, no. when you pick something up and there's some unknown liquid on it. <laughs> oh, oh that's, gosh, that's that's different. Well, wait, at the grocery store, or yeah. you mean just like generally? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> that's a whole different story, man. Because, <laughs> well, like, depends. anything, if you're, like, talking about picking something up on the street. Sometimes it's expected. <laughs> Don't pick up things on the street. Because, like, <laughs> two weeks ago, I went shopping, and I come out, there's, like, puke on the sidewalk, and right beside the puke is the garbage can. I'm like, what? How do you, <laughs> could you really not hold it in for, like, another second? Like, what the hell? Sometimes hey, you, you know, just maybe- got to puke on somebody's pants. Yeah. <laughs> maybe they ran for, like like, five minutes holding it in, and they just... Yeah, they <laughs> they short. couldn't hold it in any yeah. any longer. Yeah. Maybe they yeah. were on the other side of the trash can and missed. <laughs> <laughs> Over it, overshot. That's right. It's, 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 al- it's always good, isn't it? This is the thing. It's, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's always good. The, 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 the one with the stories of the crazy shit happening to them. It, it's oh. always good. Yeah, it never happens to anyone else <laughs> but good. It's... 
Later that night, I accidentally got someone fired from the hotel. <laughs> oh, and that was like completely on accident. So I'll tell that story too. I was going to save it for an episode, but if you guys are, here's the story. Yeah, okay. So um, Chad was leaving that morning because he had to go back. So he actually missed the last day of the convention. Um, so I stayed up in the room with Seth and hotel, uh, Seth and Chad, not Seth and hotel, <laughs> Seth and Chad until they were. He was leaving at seven that morning, and that's when I went back to my room. And at the, the this hotel was actually really great, except for their elevator system. You have to use your room key to go any floor on this elevator. So you step into the elevator, the door shut, you put your key in the card reader, doesn't read it. You can't go anywhere. You can go to the lobby, that's it. You can't go to the say, you want to go to. That, that system in itself isn't bad. It's, it's the fact it didn't work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I don't have a problem with it if you could just put your card in and you go where you need to go. But, I mean, we're talking like, at one point, I know we were there for probably 10 minutes. At least it felt like that long just trying to get to our floor. So whenever Chad went to leave, I could not get to my floor. It wasn't possible. I tried and tried and tried, could not get to my floor. Um, so I went to the front desk, and I was a little ahead of Chad because he was, like, getting his bags and stuff. So I went to the front desk, and I was like, listen, my car doesn't work. Your, ho- your, your, your elevator system is just shit, and you know it. And when I said shit, that was just, oh, God, the worst thing that's ever happened to this woman. She couldn't handle it. She got really mad. Um, she told me – I don't. I don't remember a conversation word for word, but I know that at one point I also said "fuck" after that, and that was the bottom line. She she called security on me. Um, <laughs> like, yeah, like yeah. did you threaten her in any way? Like what? no, no. I just uh, you know because I, I think what I said is she, she kept arguing with me about this, and I was like, I just want another key. I want to just go to my room and go to bed. And she was like, I don't need to be talked to like this. And I'm like, well, this is fucked. I think is what I said. And that's whenever she picked up the phone thing and like called security and slammed it down. And this is about the time that Chad was coming up. And Chad was like, I can, let's go see if my key works and I'll just, I'll let you go. I'll, I'll take you to your room, basically. I was like, all right. She's like, no, you cannot leave. You're being detained. What? Like, okay. So we <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't realize she had the authority to do that. Like, <laughs> well, that's what I ended up telling her after a few minutes. I was finally like, listen, I'm going to my room. You don't, I've not, I've not broken any laws. You don't have the authority to detain me. She's uh, not even, she's like, <laughs> she works at a hotel. She's not a cop. Like what the fuck? Uh, so we, so Chad's key did work. I got back to my room or whatever. When I got to my room, I picked up my iPad and I tweeted out. I don't know why. I tweeted. I was like, "Don't stay in this hotel. Yeah, their elevator is shit. If you ask the help for help, they just uh, 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 they treat you like shit." And someone retweeted. It. Then Starwood Hotels follows me, which is where I was staying. They follow me on Twitter. They asked me to follow them, so I do. They DM me, and I'm like, we're going back and forth. And they're like, could you please go down? We've been in touch with with our higher-ups, and they want to take care of this and everything. So I go back down to the front desk. It's like 8 o'clock at this point. And I was like, I'm just so done with this. I just wanted to go to bed. And uh, so they get on the phone with, like, the corporate office and all this, and the manager comes out, and they end up sending that woman off and said they're done with her and all this. I was just like, I just wanted to go to bed. Um, So, (laughs) yes. I accidentally got some woman removed from her own hotel. Man, Hooray. I got to get more Twitter followers. Apparently, I wish and I could shut down places. It just seems like that's. It doesn't <laughs> even seem like that's how it should work. Like if someone said to me, "Do this," or "I'm going to tweet it out," I'd be like, "Go for it." <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think yeah, you know, she handled it badly, but they handled it very well by the sounds of it. Yeah. Yeah, the hotel was great. It really was. Like for instance, uh, we were sp- us, but my room was supposed to have two beds in it, and it didn't. And um, uh, so I just went in there and told them, you know, I was supposed to have two beds, and they brought me up this big rollaway bed thing that, that BTC slept on the whole time. Um, room service was good. Everything was good about the place except for their fucking elevator system. <laughs> yeah, we've talked about this GBE thing. Yeah, we should, we should move on. We should to the totally next convention. <laughs> to the next convention. Jesus Christ, this is a convention. So many field. conventions, right? So PAX East is a week from now, um, and we are all going except for Co. Co, are you going? I don't know, I was not going. Boo, yeah, boo, boo Aaron's. I'm too yeah. poor. I can't go to all these freaking conventions. <laughs> Everyone needs to watch all the Coast videos. Get it, get it, get it. <laughs> uh, and for the first time ever, Nintendo will not be attending PAX East. Uh, I, I did ask this. Uh, are Nintendo attending anything? Yeah, they're, they'll be attending PAX Prime. It's just this is the first time in history for PAX East that Nintendo will not be there. Because didn't they pull out of a couple of others as well after the Wii yeah. U sucked? Yeah, they did last year. <laughs> Wait, sorry, the Wii U sales sucked. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. It's better than you think, man. I'm sad because I was hoping that I could play some Mario 
card eight there. Yeah. Right. Because that would have been awesome. What, the, what are they doing? They, I, seem I, to be, they seem to be taking themselves out of everything. They, yeah. they don't seem to understand at all gamer yeah, culture. Back to right making now. playing cars and tractors or something. I don't know. Well, like they go after gaming videos. Like that's not the biggest thing that's been going on in the gaming world for the past five years. Yeah. And then, and then they can't figure out the whole shared accounts thing. Like, oh, don't own more than one of our consoles and have an account. Don't buy a game if you want it on more than one console. Me and Cole talked about like cons- Nintendo <laughs> for many times on his stream. Like another thing that yeah. Nintendo does wrong is multiplayer. Why is there no online multiplayer for a lot of their games? And why do you have to share like this convoluted forty character goddamn friend code yeah. just to play games with someone? Now like, apparently, fuck the East Coast, right? <laughs> what, so what about the East Coast? That's the oh, new oh, model. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what are we talking model. about? <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm an idiot. Oh, <laughs> so packs should be fun. I look forward to it. Good, right, guys? And, guys? Uh, I'm I'm excited. I just I just remember the prices for a lot of things last year. That's the only downside. Because remember, me, me and Good, we uh, stayed at a hotel last year, and we were allowed one free breakfast. But the second breakfast was like twenty five dollars or something like that, and there wasn't <laughs> even much of a selection there. How many breakfasts yeah. do you need? <laughs> second <laughs> breakfast. Well, no. Like what? What at eight? What at nine thirty? We're hobbits. <laughs> Second breakfast. <laughs> Nothing tastes better no, than a yeah. Like, yeah, there's no it, there's no sub. internet. Uh, it's just bad. But I said nothing tastes better than a twenty dollars subway sub. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that a thing? Are they twenty bucks at at Prime? There was oh, a subway inside man. of the convention center, and I don't I don't remember if it's exactly twenty bucks. I think the whole meal was like chips, sandwich, and drink. Oh yeah, that tiny bag of chips. <laughs> yeah, forty yeah. gram bag of chips. Oh, sorry, you guys don't use grams. Um, uh, hmm. two ounce bag of chips. I don't know. <laughs> <Ounce>. <laughs> What's the net weight? Yeah, <laughs> so the conversion on that. We so got an next- ounce time that's so far out that um, I don't know. We have to like make our own breakfast and stuff. <laughs> yeah, so you're staying in a house. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we, uh, we we rented a house. Um, it's about uh, thirty minutes north of Boston. Um, hey, don't tell people where we're staying. I'm not going to give them the. Address. I know, I know. I mean, there's sure. a lot of there's a lot of things. Thirty minutes. Of <laughs> <laughs> just one house. <laughs> it's just a farmhouse. <laughs> Thirty minutes by jet plane as well. Yeah, <laughs> it's actually much quicker by the subway. There's a subway right there by it, so it'll be fine. Bad oh, just, now you're giving more clues. <laughs> <laughs> what Someone color knows. is it? <laughs> um. That sounds but awesome. Yeah. Though. yeah, well, it's way cheaper too. It's like for the tit of us staying there, it's basically like three hundred bucks each. Mm-hmm. Versus like last year, I remember it was like twelve hundred bucks for a hotel for four nights. Yeah, it's one hundred and twenty a night, isn't it, or something in the hotels? That's why I don't go to conventions, people. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> well, I I think like if a lot a lot of us continue going to conventions like this, I think what we're gonna probably end up doing is probably staying at houses like this more often, just because it's a lot more convenient. It's lower prices and. Cause this, like this place, like we said, we're we're paying a lot, like cheat, like a, wow, we're paying less, but it also, you know, it, it sleeps like thirteen to fifteen people or like that or something like that. So yeah, there's and no shitty elevators. No shitty elevators, and you, you can, can invite swear. people. Or let people come in to tell you. You need to be a little bit more quiet, please. All oh, right. Oh wait, no, MC Gamers not coming, so we can't play our our uh, yeah, NBA we need to Jam. NBA Jam, man. Let's make this happen, please. <gasps> Dude, I have it. All right, well, we're, uh, bring your Super Nintendo. I'll try to find it. It's packed up somewhere after we packed up so much shit from the flood. All right. I'll, All right. I'll try my hardest. Boom shakalaka. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Bring, bring an emulator. Speaking of jams. <laughs> huh? Come oh, on. you missed the UHC topic. Fuck. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, anyway, this next topic we always we we always really can't say much about it anyway. But UHC has begun, so tune in to your local Minecraft station to watch that. <laughs> you can't really say much. Like I can't tell them that yeah. Cole's yeah. been playing secretly and he's gonna come in in the last episode and murder. Spoilers. All the, oh, oh, sorry. The crap. Pause. Just remember to pause. God. <laughs> Gotta got look for those three slaps in an, an hour-long video. 
but yeah, it, it it begun. It's teams of three, and that's pretty much it. It begun. Mm -hmm. I'm on a team with uh, Nevers and Pyro. I'm with uh, BTC and uh, Andrew Zell. <laughs> Who were those guys? Again? I was trying. No, I was trying. I was like BTC and letters? Andrew Zell. Yeah. I was uh, gonna say something like. Uh, I'm, I'm with like, uh, I'm with Pack and Zisto, and it's actually worked out very very well. It, 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 I don't know. Sorry, who? I don't I don't know anyone by the name of Zisto. Sorry, Zesto. Um, there you go. And, uh, yeah, we, we we're getting on quite well. It's it's, it's chemistry's working well. You sound like you thought it was going to be crap. <laughs> it's I think no I I think it's difficult because <laughs> some <laughs> no it's it's not like these people are bad. It's, it's like people these play people? different styles. Wow. Please, but <laughs> leave me alone, damn you. <laughs> you want me to hold your shovel for you for a second? Or are you done digging that hole? It's just people have got different styles, and when you prepare together, you don't. Cause, uh, yeah, I don't think I've played any different strokes. pack before, or Sisto for that matter. So you don't know how you're going to work together, um, which is part of the fun of the random theming. And, uh, mm -hmm. Who's Sisto again? Oh my Zesto. god. Sisto. <laughs> <I'm> joking. Jesus. <laughs> Speaking of not knowing how you're going to work together, Game Jam was a colossal failure. Um, but I don't know enough about it to talk about. It. I'm not qualified, so maybe one of you guys. Don't look at me. I have no idea what Game Jam is. Good, good knows. Good knows all the things. It's been an all good show, actually. You know what <laughs> a Game Jam is? He's been talking a lot. I, I know what you, you know I, what it is, Co. Right? Talk about previous Game Jams and what the premise is. Well, um, what's the the Ludum Dare is the biggest one that I know of. If that's yeah. is that that's considered a game jam, right? I believe so. Yeah. Forty eight yeah. hours. Yeah. So I mean, it's just a thing where a bunch of indie game developers or any game developers really get together for a set period of time and they just bust out games like for fun. Then sometimes they make it a competition, but most of the time it's just like they throw all these games together and then they put they them all, all like all they put all the code up for together. review and stuff. Huh. Are they only one sweaty warehouse together? Or no, they... no, sometimes, no. sometimes. Because didn't didn't Notch do the Ludum Dare? Yeah, Ludum Dare yeah, is, does I it. think, it's all online, right? And it's an annual thing. Mm -hmm. But some of them are are done live and in person. Like everybody meets up. Um, there's, I think, something like Tag Tag Jam or something like that. I can't remember, but. Game there's Jam one. is supposed to be one of those things, but more commercially produced and filmed. Oh. I think in the past, um, has it been as produced like the? Because isn't this like this is not the first time they've done this game jam, right? No, this is. I think as far as I know, this is the first time. Oh, okay. It, it was, well, it was okay. called Game Underscore Jam, right? And it was it was like a a, a thing that a, a maker and a couple other companies were kind of joining together to do. In particular, Mountain Dew. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Where they had like apparently tons of product placement, like to the degree where they they didn't want any of the game developers like drinking out of water bottles. They wanted them to like take empty cans of Mountain Dew and put water in them. Jesus, all kinds of crap like that. But um, apparently, it, it went way south with some like sexist comments and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I know that uh, Jordan was supposed to be part of it. And he was supposed to be at Game Vet Expo, but then that came up. Um, and since he's with Maker, he was going to do that. And then once it all fell through, he was able to still come. So I got to hear some of it firsthand. Jordan um, is Captain Sparkles oh. for those listening. Oh, right. It's I don't like people <laughs> with multi-syllable names. I'm, <laughs> Jordan I'm has multi-syllable. Multi Jordan, you're right. Let's call him yeah. Jor. <laughs> call yeah, him he's Jor. just Jor now. Or Dan. <laughs> we'll call him Dan. Dan, what's up, yeah, Dan? That could get confusing. Uh, it could. Really could. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I got to hear a little bit of it firsthand. It did sound like it was just a complete mess, and I don't think there was any salvaging. I think they tried, is what it sounded like, because they ended up doing one full day, and then shit hit the fan, and they were trying to still salvage it, but it just didn't sound like there was any any saving grace. Um, so it's, weird, it's weird, because they wanted to promote this indie development and show the process of this game stuff in a setting that tons of people could get behind, but then it's like one guy really wanted it to be a reality show, like Big Brother, where there's lots of drama. So. Well, he was apparently executive level or something, unfortunately. Right. And like he was he was asking questions like So do you think you have an advantage because you have a pretty girl on your team? Like that kind of stuff. Really? That's well in the original story, do you think you have a dis do you think they have a disadvantage because they have a girl on their team? And then it was what well, do you think yeah. they have an advantage online because of the pretty it's like wow. he kept asking the same question in different ways. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <sighs> also hilariously, the prizes were awful. 
Books like, and pens. Who would... <laughs> <laughs> Almost as bad. Like one, I think some of the prizes were Mountain Dew lawn chairs. <laughs> Get I'll excited. Get hyped. <laughs> Tastes better than Mountain Dew. I mean, these developers make games. They probably... <laughs> There's so much more that they could. They, uh, I don't know. I, I don't understand what any of the thinking was behind that at all. Yeah, I think one of it was like a developer's license for Xbox, and it's like they could all get that anytime. <laughs> well, thanks. And I already have that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what What do you get in game devs? Hmm? What do you mean? What? Uh, yes, free supply to, to uh, Domino's. I mean, oh, what do you? What What can you get the game dev that has yeah, everything? Exactly. <laughs> A Wii U. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, Nobody has, has one of those. They, they always need like better computers and better equipment. And, you know, maybe like programming IDEs, licenses, and stuff like that. That shit can get expensive. I don't know. That was and one it, of the things. All the computers there had hacked or cracked versions of Premiere on them, and then like <laughs> they came with malware as well. So they had to spend like six hours fixing their entire network after they infected themselves with their cracked oh versions of Premiere. Well, that was good. <laughs> Good times. Games. Something Think after destined this to fail. Vault Maker, they would have enough money to pay for Premiere, right? Yeah. Eh, well, that was still that was still coming together. <laughs> Disney yeah. money hadn't arrived yet. <laughs> still on the boat. Yeah. Was it a Mickey Mouse outfit? That's an I'm surprised show. there wasn't a Disney uh, flair. Big Mountain Dew. Let's have some questions, boys. Ooh. Pick me up. So, uh, oh, yeah, I was just thinking we, we, we skipped on, but we already covered that, didn't we? Hey, guys, in episode 66 of the podcast, Good mentioned talking to Joe Hills about a YouTuber ethics guild, and I was wondering what ethics would you stand for if this was to become a reality? Uh, what ethics stand as the most important, and would you all agree on the same ethics? Thanks again, and keep up the hard work, Ethan. One of the things I absolutely hate is Hey, if you guys want to see second part, give this 50,000 likes. That would mm-hmm. not stand for that ish. Yeah, that's pretty gross. It's, um, I think another thing we've mentioned before is releasing like 12 videos of the same game, five minutes long each in the same day, just to... Mm-hmm. There's a general sort of ripping kids off thing, isn't it? With this, the videos and the, the liking things and all that. It's, mm-hmm. it's just scrounging for, for extra views. I don't know. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Yeah, I feel like Coke could talk on this for a while. I know that you know <laughs> years ago we used to talk about all these things that we would see that we just didn't that just put a bad taste in your mouth. Yeah. Well, Go on, let it all out. I'll put a bad taste in your mouth too. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Woo, yeah. Yo. I've been telling you to drink pineapple he's, juice, boss. He I'll said bet. it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drink like. 30 jugs of pineapple juice before I go to pack scoot just for you. Oh, God. It'd be like acid from aliens. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Jesus fucking God. <laughs> I can just picture goo melting. <laughs> the big side out. Dripping off the mouth. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> all right. All steamy and shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> back on the rails, boys. Let's get this thing back on the rails. Uh, uh, so, Cody, well, do you want to say something about this stuff? <laughs> well, non pineapple juice related. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, pine. Yeah. That's certainly that's certainly <laughs> the most ethical shit I've ever heard. But apart from that, um. I actually, you know, I've actually become not like more accepting of that stuff, but more ignoring of that stuff as I've um, mm. returned here. Like in the past, I used to get really hung up on what other people were doing and how it, you know, affected the community and everything like that. And I kind of decided after a while that, like, at all times, all of this stuff is always going on. There's always some prick out there who's like, using the most exploitative methods possible. And you really can't do anything about it. I mean, you can get mad about it and, you know, draw attention to it and be like, look, this is what you shouldn't do. But I think that the the easier approach is to just 
not do that and just hang out with people that you like that don't do that. And that's what I'm doing now. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Aww. I think that's the best, too. I agree. I remember there was a time whenever you didn't even monetize your videos, code because you didn't think that that really fit into what you thought people should be doing. I, 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 it, it took me a while to kind of wrap my head around like that this was something that you could get paid to do. And what made me change my mind was when I realized, like, okay, this takes a lot of time out of my day. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I, I, think, I think the trouble is, is that, like, it's... You know, kids don't understand what it's like having to do this stuff and also keep a roof over your head or take care of your family or, you know, get groceries and stuff like that. And it's not their fault. But right. there's this perception that, oh, this is easy. You're just playing games. You shouldn't get paid. <laughs> and I was kind of in that camp <laughs> when I started. But then when it started to take like eight hours out of every single day of like, well, I'm recording for six hours, and then I'm editing for four hours, and then I'm uploading for two hours, and it's like, brr, I can't do anything else <laughs> with my life. So, yeah, I changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Good question, <Next>. Ethan. Indeed. <laughs> yes. Oh, heck. Close my window, sorry. Um, currently, every member of Minecraft releases content individually. Given the success of the network as a whole, would you ever consider moving it towards a studio-like model where everyone creates content together, like Rooster Teeth or Achievement Hunter, who focuses on Let's Plays now, and release under the Minecraft name instead? Josh. Boy, would that be difficult. No yeah. shit, right? Can you imagine? Considering we live like, so far Well, when we've got the house in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. I think if it was possible, it'd be pretty cool to do stuff like that. Yeah, but I mean, I know originally when we started the Minecraft Network channel, that was kind of the goal. Like, you know, on Monday, you'll have pauses, ponder, wait, that's pack right. right. Yeah. Pauses, penis. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that's, that's on RedTube, guys. Uh, that's, right. that's a short, everybody. <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, <laughs> acid attachment you. extra. Um, <laughs> But yeah, you know, something every day, that type of thing. But it wouldn't be like it's all recording an episode together and then mashing it together or something. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I don't there, know. There's, there's definitely an advantage to doing it. I mean, that's what uh, the Yogs converted to, isn't it? Where you get everybody in a, in a studio environment, a working day. Um, and there, there's, there's certain, you know, financial benefits of doing that. Everybody's together. Everybody's sharing equipment and stuff like that. And, 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 I, and I, Josh, I think, is more asking about releasing it all on one channel. Yeah, well, that's what Yoxcast does to some degree now too. They'll release, they'll all, though there's plenty of episodes where they've they're all recording on the server. They all send their footage together. One editor compiles it into one episode. So like you'll see like Sips die, and then they'll switch to Lewis's view, and then Lewis is talking about what just happened to Sips. I will, and Simon's like, well, I don't know. Well, they Cheerio. have an office though. They have an office that's like yeah, you, yeah. Exactly. You guys could do that. You can got sound a studio. Like they've got also by file. It, like 16 8 gigabyte files over the internet it's going to take the rest of your life to finish mm -hmm. that video yeah. right um and not only that they're 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 the way their network is formed is way different than ours i mean mm -hmm. if you if you're a part of the yogscast network you're giving a percentage of your revenue to tgs you're also giving a percentage of your revenue to yogscast um i don't know if everyone realizes that or not but you do it's a it's a different per contract obviously but they're in a different situation. Minecraft doesn't take, I don't take any revenue, you know, from anybody. So Not yet. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I just don't think that even, like, monetarily it would even make any sense or even, I think it would lead to drama, honestly, trying to quantify how much right. certain people bring and stuff. It's just, like, it's not worth it. Pause's episode of, like, Flaccid Fridays probably wouldn't get as many views as, <laughs> <laughs> as Good's feature length. Thursdays. <laughs> <laughs> Why y'all ragging on my dick today? What the fuck? The most direct show on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not have any uh, fan art for that. One. <laughs> Please no. <laughs> I've, I personally, I've been surprised at the number of YouTubers that I've seen actually completely uproot and just move to LA. It's just like right? celebrities. It's just like any other celebrity that you. What's like, the advantage in that? I don't understand that. That's where all the studios are. Yeah, like the, a lot of the maker people have moved to live in LA so that they can get together and do shit. That's why they do so much live action stuff together. Um, yeah, the live action stuff. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. Well, like I was talking to some people at GBE, and they were saying, you know, like uh, I am Spoon said that that's all right. He lives in Arkansas, and that's what he's doing. He's moving to to LA. So yeah, like he's dude. Can I let's let's all go to LA. Nah, let's all move let's... to North Carolina. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's where it's at. That you guys, bad. You guys can test it out when you rent out the house there. <laughs> it'd be like what it'll be like. Yeah, that's I, true. I think it would be cool if like we could record some stuff and put it up on the Minecraft network. Like, yeah. like, like you said, you know, on Monday we could put up uh, flaccid whatever. You know. <laughs> that's, no, that's Friday. Friday. That's yeah, Friday. whatever flaccid Fridays. But like, <laughs> you know, the, like we, we we did talk about possibly playing like Risk or something like that and putting up on that. But like maybe if we, we all contributed and. You know, like we'd have like one video a day at least, or something. I, I, I don't know. That's, that's just my opinion. I think. Yeah, I think the problem is like who, who edits it, who edits it. Well, where, where I does mean, the revenue go? That sort of thing. These are issues that need to be solved. Yeah. 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 Split that up. I think yeah. the way that they most of them do it is that it's just as literal as you would think. Like it's it's just percentage based, but you know, flat split between everybody or whatever, mm -hmm. and then the, the biggest portion always goes to the the network or, or whatever. I need to start right. getting paid for this podcast, good. Just letting you know. About it. <laughs> uh, it barely covers our expenses, but I mean, that was part of what Play Minecraft was supposed to, too. If we ever make any profit with that, it's cover expenses, too. Oh, but, speaking of uh, the Minecraft network, this isn't added on, but could we possibly talk about OMG Chad and. Yeah. I'll, I'll let you talk about it because you were the one who was in talks with him. And oh, okay. Um, well, you guys know that uh, Pyro used to do the uh, weekly recap, and he hasn't been able to do it for a while because he's been really busy, busy with college. He gets out of college. He's graduated from college in two months, but uh, OMG Chad, you guys might know him. He's, uh, um, he's part of the twit.tv. They do um, lots of stuff related to podcasts, tech, related things, stuff like that. Um, he's the guy with the red hair. He's on the he was, pixel a, he was on our, he was on our uh, panel at MyCon. Was he? What panel? Oh, the... Oh, yeah, oh, it was podcast the pod panel. podcast panel. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um. Anyways, he wants, to, he wants to do the the recap. Um. He doesn't want to take it from Pyro. Pyro wants to come back because Pyro said he might want to start doing it again in two months whenever he gets out of college. Um. But if in the meantime, Chad wants to do it. He wants to do it from his studio there at Twit because he's got a Minecraft related studio at Twit. Um. So he's going to shoot it in the studio. Um. So yeah, he's going to pick that up and he's going to be like a little ten minute segment, just like it, like it used to be whenever Pyro did it. Uh, for the next couple months until Pyro decides if he wants to do it again or or whatever. So that should be good and cool and stuff. So that's something wow. to look forward to on on the Minecraft network, other than just the podcast now. So it'll be like a dedicated Minecraft news show. Yeah, yeah. Like once a week is what Pyro does. Minecraft weekly news or something. It seemed it was really popular. I think it did a really good job of driving people to the other the other channels when they because they could like get all the info in one spot and then be like, oh, that clip was really funny. Let me go watch the whole episode. So I think it was really successful. There's a lot of work involved. It is. Mm -hmm. yeah. it sounds like it. Yeah. But I, th I think th like Pyro used to outsource it and ask people like what their favorite part of the yeah, yeah. video was of this week. So. Yeah, yeah. Pyro said it would take about four hours after he got all the information from everyone on Reddit. Cause you still have to go like rip that part of the video and stuff like that, and then compile it onto one video. So it's a lot of work, even with giving you the links and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, I'm glad Chad wanted to do it because it should be should be good, and and hopefully it'll be beneficial for him too to get you know more people to see his face and know who he is and stuff. So yeah, it's a good guy. Yep. Next. Bad. Next. Huh? <laughs> me, New York Minute. Um, what? What? <laughs> what the what? fuck are you talking Did you just have about? A stroke? <laughs> what? New York no, Minute. It's like, <laughs> you stop speaking. I open my mouth to talk, and all of a sudden, bad, bad, bad. It's just like, yeah, I'm on it anyway. Oh. Um, hey guys, <laughs> Matthew here. Uh, love all you do. Blah. Keep doing it. Blah blah, etc. My question for you is: When you eat a muffin, do you remove the paper case and eat it, or do you peel back part of it as you take bites? Personally, I removed the whole paper case before eating. Thanks and greetings from Scotland. That's fucking gross. Who does that? You gotta rip it. Be I'm with Matthew. Dick. I take it all off before eating it. Why? Uh, then your hands get all sticky and then... I take it all off before eating <laughs> Ooh. I'm assuming he means an American muffin. Heathen. An American what, muffin? What, what the, the hell? hell? What the hell? Yeah, what do you yeah, have? Uh, well, English was it like things. biscuits where those are actually cookies? Cause oh, whatever. don't do the biscuit thing. That's, I still can't get my head around that. Um, no, so no, wait, no. wait, 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 wait. So he's he's actually total cookie? 
I didn't even think about that till now. Yes, yes, he is. <laughs> oh man, that's totally different. I always thought of like dinner biscuits, you know, like. like this. <laughs> oh, I don't know. This is the point. <laughs> you know, I, or maybe I mean, maybe it's dinny biscuits. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought about that either, but now it does really change everything, doesn't it? Yeah. It does, yeah. yeah Seth kept accidentally calling him Total Business at GBE. <laughs> total <laughs> Business. Yeah. Uh, wow. Hmm. Uh, Did we? Yes, I, yes, I take the paper, yeah, I take, oh, I take the oh. paper off, and I usually pull the big mushroom head bit off as well. Yeah. That first. Hey, so which one do you first? <laughs> do you pull the <laughs> Don't take off the mushroom head off. <laughs> That's so the mushroom head wow, the no, no fan art of that either. What? That's a bit of a white boy there. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want the little hole in the middle of it for authenticity? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe put some pineapple juice in the middle. Uh, rub my tongue around the edge of it. <laughs> oh, I can think about is the episode in uh, Seinfeld. Yeah, or... the muffin stumps. Yep. I, the buffet stumps are the worst. What's the what do you eat first, Muffins. Badge, when you do that? Do you eat the stump or the... Oh, no, no, no. The, the stump stays in there. The... <laughs> you throw the stump out? No, no, no. I was just thinking the stump actually... I think I think what I do is I pull the head bit off and eat that, <laughs> and then I pull the paper off the stump. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I, can't, I can't handle this fucking muffin. <laughs> <Jesus Christ. laughs> I eat the head first. <laughs> then I finish off the chat. <laughs> I love <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I'm sorry, whenever Co gets in uh whenever he's in a call with me or something, it's always hashtag guys night. Yeah. The dog. Right. Am I the only one that rips it apart like bit by bit to eat it? I no, I do I do that. I can't I can't just sit there and like bite it like a fucking apple. You gotta take it apart. I think right. it depends what they are. If they're chocolate ones with lots of chocolate chips in, then then they go down really easy, so I, I get the, the edge away <laughs> from it all the way around first, and I just smash my face into it, and whatever makes it in my mouth is great, and whatever makes it on the floor makes it on the floor, you know? That's the way life is. I never <laughs> want to visit your house. It's just going to be, like, full of fucking muffin crumbs everywhere. Yeah, sweet. We don't even have carpet. It's just muffin crumbs. Do you think that's <laughs> It's all squishy. <laughs> Deep pong. <Ew>. But... <laughs> Can you imagine between your toes? It's like a whole new experience. <laughs> Oh yeah, especially if you get one that has like fruit bits in it, like blueberry or something. Oh, this this part's a bit fuzzy. Oh no, that's just mold. Like that, is, that ain't toad's Oh, okay, you've got skin. rabbits. Oh no, <laughs> chocolate chips. Uh, I've always had a hard time eating cupcakes. I don't know what to do with the icing because I don't want it to like get on my nose or my lips or anything. I just want it in my mouth, but it's like not possible. Yeah, yeah there's little mini cupcakes. <laughs> Try and save as much of the icing for the end as possible. Just oh like, my god. <laughs> This is, this is getting it's a really interesting conversation here. <laughs> you just squirt all the icing in my mouth first. Don't get it in your face, please. Uh, That's when it gets in your eye. Um, <laughs> hi, my crackers. I've been listening to the podcast. It's episode one, and it's definitely stolen a lot of my hours away. Uh, not that I'm complaining. Oh, I take that story back. <laughs> but I was wondering how your time is affected while recording it. So here's the question. What do you typically do while recording the podcast? For example, do you render your videos or maybe do some monotonous task in Minecraft or eat food or masturbate, etc.? Oh, gosh. Or do you just sit and converse without any distractions? Just when I thought all that talk was over. <laughs> <laughs> one second, guys, one second. Uh, I do like a combination of all those things except for the masturbate <laughs> part. <laughs> So most of the time I'll be rendering. Uh, sometimes I'll be doing some some grindy work in Minecraft. Uh, I very rarely do I eat that actually. So maybe just the first two. Is it because you've already masturbated? <laughs> yeah, earlier in the day. It's a morning <laughs> thing for me. The only way the podcast. Oh, we just learned something about me. stop masturbating for a second to make the podcast, That's and right. then continue from there. Oh God, That's just thinking <laughs> in the fan art again. <laughs> there are muffin tops. It's just a continuous <laughs> stream. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I ruined the podcast, guys. It's okay. <laughs> this podcast is rated 18 plus. You guys are lucky. I can't do anything because everything that I want to do, it, like it requires sound. So I just sit here and oh, because you have a scored. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, you can do the, other, the the last two things. 
Um, no, like I said, masturbating is it's. It's a noisy and fast. <laughs> it's noisy. <laughs> oh, like, you know. <laughs> Sorry, that's the sound <laughs> I make. He screams the entire yeah. time. Yeah, well, genital piercings. It's terrible. <laughs> I make those sounds when I eat, not masturbate. That's why they just... call it sounding. Yep. Oh! oh. <laughs> uh, oh. Uh, no. Don't Google that. Um, Are you regretting it yet? I don't know what that means, so I don't know. I've, I've missed well, the that'll, inside that'll joke. Be fun for you later. Okay. <laughs> I, I almost want to, like, explain it to you, right? No. Can I do it? Can that's I please the, do it? That's the homework. That's got to send somebody home with... Uh, I'm, no. I'm, I'm looking it up. Don't, okay, no, don't hey, explain look, it. I'll, I'll link it to you right now, but I just want to hear your reaction while yeah, yeah, you read they, it. Nobody's yeah. saying anything because he's found it. Yeah, right there. So, oh my god! <laughs> Whoa, oh no, not the last part. <laughs> Such is a finger. <laughs> <laughs> what? I can just imagine the people like wondering what the a finger. What the fuck are they talking about? Like, there's no visuals, so this is like the best podcast topic ever. Don't don't look it up, people. <laughs> your brain. You know who taught me about it was trombone, Co-Star. I never knew what that word meant until Co told me. I've Aren't we thankful? Oh god, there, there's there's um uh, I, I, I'm assuming. You. <laughs> Sorry, my brain freaking out. Um, did you find I'm a assume, sound store? I'm, oh. I'm assuming it's a, it's a chain, but I don't know. But when we were in Baltimore, there was a, a, a place opposite the the hotel called Rusty Scupper, and we just spent <laughs> weeks trying to work out what that was. <laughs> Scupper. Oh man. Uh, okay. Anyways, we should move on. Thanks, uh, yeah. Devin. Yeah, thank you for that. Uh, I, w- I wish people would stop putting half the question on another page. That's really confusing. I don't know who did that. <sighs> Dreadful. Uh, hello, Mindcasters. I was thinking about the podcast when I thought of a question. If you were to be a mythical creature like a unicorn or a griffin, which one would you be? Pause, also- corn, done. <laughs> also, now if you question. could have a weapon in war, which one would you use? I, for one, would use a whip because it's uncommon and easily made. Thanks for reading my question, and beef and paws, you are the bum. Bomb? Speaking of bombs, I'd use a nuke. That's the best weapon in war. <laughs> wow, dude. A whip? What are you going to do? I've got a very Canadian answer, I'll have you know. I, could, well, I mean, you want to win the war, right? You don't want yeah, push. a whip's a bit of a curious weapon to shoot. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy well, your I'll whip. stand at the back making cracking noises. <laughs> 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 Off you go. <laughs> You're just as useful as, like, those drummers who just sit... Like, could you imagine being one of those drummers? Yeah, what'd you do? I went drumming in the war, and then it got killed. Like, I mean, yeah, obviously this guy's telling, uh, you know, the story from the, the ghost world, but... From beyond the grave. Who's <laughs> <laughs> carrying the flag? <laughs> yeah, that too. Like, I would hate to be those people. But uh, I think... I've always, like, really liked medieval weapons, like Morning Stars and Flails. Those are always, like, my favorite. So you're also going to be getting shot in the face. Yeah, yeah like this. This no, this is hey, hey, that's medieval those... wars, dude. That's that's a completely different war. <laughs> some of us just want to have a good time in war. Okay. Yeah, you know. <laughs> oh, I I'd, I'd, I'd have a chain gun mounted to the top of an SUV. There, go. there you go. See, but uh, he, he never like specified it. that if, if it's like modern war or exactly. War. So if you could pick any weapon of war, you'd pick a flail. Well, you need to pick a, a weapon <sighs> and a and a period, basically. Okay. Uh, All right, I'd, I'd, I'd choose the beef destroyer. It, it kills nothing <laughs> but vintage beef. There, you happy? It's the future. Yeah, it's a future warfare. <laughs> <laughs> when we're overrun by them. Yeah. I think I think my mythical creature would be Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh, <laughs> oh damn. Nice. Oh, yeah. Uh, snap into a Slim Jim. <laughs> brother. Oh, yeah, brother. Uh I don't know. Did Hulk Hogan used the brother too. Did who? Yeah. Who, yeah. who yeah. started it first? Who owns the know. brother? It was probably like a, a circle thing, like a circle of friends. Like he was also brother all the time. <laughs> <laughs> With the okay. giggle and everything. Oh yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> My muscles are balloons. <laughs> <laughs> oh you know what? Wrestler I never understood. Fucking Razor Ramon. How the fuck did he hit everyone in the goddamn eye with that goddamn toothpick? He just got really good accuracy. No, you can't gain ac- You can't do that with a fucking toothpick. He was actually oh, even a carve arts, arts champion. You up. That was the same, right? <laughs> and then he flicked the toothpick right at the end of that. 
I think so, yeah. Yeah. What what'd you say about him, Co? I said he was a, a a world darts champion. Really? I bet no fuck, I'm falling for something here. <laughs> He's making it. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? I'm too Shut, shut up. up. Wrestling is real to me. It's okay, bro. Yeah, I don't know enough about uh, mythical creatures to pick one, so I'm gonna go with the Griffin because I know what that is. Dude, and be the Posicorn. She listed it. No, I, I'd rather not be the Posicorn. Why? I've what? seen that photo. <gasps> Leviathan. Oh, yeah, I'd be one of those. That sounds fun. Is the Griffin the one that's a bunch of um, animals? I think it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it's it's like, like the, the, the horse of a lion, <laughs> the, the yeah. wings of a um, something eagle. Nice. So you, you get to be a bunch of things. That's kind of like cheating. In a way. <laughs> yeah, a little like bit. A fucking unicorn's got a horn out of its head. That's that's not normal. Pegasus. Oh, Pegasus. <laughs> you can fly then. Yeah. Well, so can a griffin. Griffins could fly. That's true. Oh, sure. yeah, and they can yeah. roar, man. But they don't have horns, though. They don't have horns. That's true. That's Dude, a disadvantage. C- centaurs are pretty cool. Yeah, but they're uh, always running their mouths. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I killed a lot of them in World of Warcraft. <laughs> they're they're pretty weak. The problem with they're centaurs like- is that like you're you're like half a person, your front top, like your your front top, <laughs> your front top <laughs> is a person, but your back your back bottom is something else. Yeah, it's a horse, and that's you know it, you have to reproduce with a horse, but you're a person. You're always yeah, forced kinda... into that situation all the time, <laughs> all the time. I'm, I'm looking time. up. I'm looking up like a list of mythical creatures. A banshee. A banshee oh, is a mi- cool. mythical creature. Apparently, on mythicalcreaturesguide.com. Is it? A- <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that she's real. Oh, uh, seriously, there's there's dementors. Or you could be a harpy. Oh, they're kind of dementors. They're not mythical creatures. De- what? The fiction Harry creatures. Potter. Yeah, that's the fiction. Not myth. Myth. Oh. What are you saying? The mythical? <laughs> what is your argument that they're fiction? They're facts. <laughs> yes, yeah. No, there's a difference between fictional and mythical. I don't know. You're gonna have to. You're gonna. You're gonna have to argue with the guys over at mythicalcreaturesguide.com. I'm pretty sure that this is mythical creatures, considering it's on mythicalcreaturesguide.com. Dot com. <laughs> Am I right? Wait, what? I'm right. Uh, apparently, a mythical right. creature, a you doppelganger. Friend, give him acceptance. She'll always accept you. She sleeps with you. Okay, I, I don't like this website apparently any like anymore because. What's a doppelganger? A doppelganger apparently is a mythical creature. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Is it? Yeah, yeah I always thought it was just like a person who looks like you. That's well, yeah, the space that comes myth, from the myth. Yeah. No. Like an that's evil the, twin. An evil that's twin. the myth, not the book. <laughs> <laughs> apparently the blob is also a mythical creature. Uh, I, that's, this, that's this, a little like... Recent stuff weird. doesn't seem right for mythical, really. No. I think it's what Badger's saying too, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's got to be part of a myth. It oh, has shape- to have. There's like a statue of limitations. <laughs> shapeshifters, I shapeshifters would be cool. Yeah, shapeshifters, okay, okay. With. Like a Sasquatch be a mythical creature? Yep. No, you know, that's almost, fucking real, so. dude. The New Jersey Devil, the Chupacabra. Was- are they all <laughs> mythical? Those are like modern myths. Yeah. Okay. Oh, if it's from Slenderman. A movie, eh. I'm sorry, but the Sasquatch is not a mythical creature. So it's what about real. Slenderman? Is he well on his way? Well his on his way to being a myth, mythical creature. Uh, let's get out of this one. Um, thank you, Karen. Hello, uh, says Luke. What is your favorite board game? Risk. And we should play it. We should. Favorite board game. I've never played Risk. Have I you like really Monopoly. I've been in the vicinity of Risk games being played. <laughs> <laughs> He's witnessed. Uh-huh. I'm going to go with, like, chess. Oh, settlers. Does this include like all kinds of, you know, like card games? Yeah, yeah. No, like no, board game. <laughs> no, okay. Sorry. That's been cool. <laughs> board. So what's your favorite board game? What's your favorite? Co- what's your favorite sport? No, it's your favorite board game. <laughs> no, no, no. I didn't mean uh, that. You know, like, I'm sorry, board. Badge, but you remember that game you sent us? <laughs> that was like a board game, but it was just full of cards. Yeah, like like trivial. Had a board it's in it. Like it's kind of a board game, right? Yeah, but what yeah, if these games yeah, make me that... bored? Does that does that count? Like, oh my god! I always liked uh, what it's called like Rivers, Roads, and Rails or something like that. It's like, like a, a very fancy version game. of Shoots and Ladders. 
No, no, no. <laughs> it's a game, it's a game that just, you, you get all these cards that have bits of either rivers, roads, or rails on them, and you have to match them up. But you can only match like you have to. It's like kind of like a it's like a competitive jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, the cards go down on the table and then and, and form yeah. a, and yeah, form you have a to board. try to get rid of all your cards, and you can only connect them to pieces that connect. So you have to connect all your rails. Sometimes it'll have multiple different things on it, so you have to find ones that match that. Yeah. All That's I can all. think about is like an upper class shoots a ladder. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> yeah. All so these posh people, other right. play. all these posh people just sit there. Hmm. Yes. Let's roll this die. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> You're done. Yeah. Yep. Ah. Uh, okay. So, Hail. These questions are for everyone, but I want to hear Paul's answer the most. How often do game developers' companies contact you to play their game, and what is the deciding factor that makes you play? Let's play it. Cheers, oh, Sable. Why the most? Yeah, like I don't. <laughs> why be the most? Because you play oh, everything that ever comes out. They just <laughs> assume it's because these people have asked you to play it. Co, help me with this. These guys like to think I I'm crazy because I play a lot of games, and I've talked to you about this before. Oh yeah. Well, well, we're what? video we're, we're video game kind of sewers. Like, we play yeah. it, it all. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it all started with trains and whatever the fuck you said a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> Rivers and monocles. <laughs> well, I mean, for me, it actually it just started because uh, I, when I got an NES when I was like five years old or whatever, and from then on, I was just obsessed with video games. So. See, that's the thing I don't understand when I try to argue this with Paul is I'm the same way. You know, I used to play the Intellivision. I had a Commodore 64, Ooh. Commodore 1. I've been playing my whole life, but I also like to sleep and pee and things that require <laughs> me to leave from what – I don't know how he has time to put out more content than any of us. And still, like, you go and look and he's been playing Body of Isaac for 17 hours today. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> three vacations last week. Well, I have a feeling that – He's just as obsessed as I am. Like we're we're on the same level of obsession with video games. Like the only reason I don't play as much as Pause is just I'm not I'm not making money playing video games very much. So I have to do my day job. But if I was if I was doing you know better in that department, then yeah, I'd sit around and fucking play Dark Souls all day long until I was like a world champion. World champion. And like, then I'd move for, on to something else. For me, as soon as I got off like my old job, I'd get home and play video games. It's- yeah, that's what I do. Exactly. Yeah, all my so, off time is video games. I don't. So I'm not really back off, games. bruh. Back <laughs> off. But uh, I don't know. I get a couple every week. I haven't really picked up any, but just because a lot of them don't really interest me. And I don't know. There's there's one that I I played as a horror game. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> it, was, it, was a, it was a spooky, scary game. That must be great with the Oculus Rift. <laughs> It, no, I did play with Oculus Rift. And oh, working? I don't know. I just I, I if if I play them and I enjoy them, I that's that's my deciding factor. I've never been paid to play a game or anything like that, so that's never been like an issue for me. So I just Direct, directly paid. I like how you're well, yeah. you get a couple a week. I've gotten zero ever. That's you don't get anybody opinion. like like just giving you keys. Yeah, 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 I, yeah. You get yeah, but usually you yeah. have to contact them. Yeah, I, oh, okay, I've okay. games. Whatever, I've contacted someone and said I want to play this early or whatever. I get um, yeah, I get people just sending me keys to games that I've never heard of before. Zero ever. Wow. Huh. Well, indie indie developers seem to be really like the, they'll throw keys at people just to you know they, get they the word spread the out. They understand the power of of, of the yeah. Future. Yeah. Well, yeah, like that's worked for me at when I'm in person with them at like PAX Easter Prime, and I'm talking to them. And they'll give me a key in person, but I've never received a contact from any game company online. Well, maybe, Here, maybe, is- and just maybe, if you actually started playing other games, huh? <laughs> other games than huh? What? what do you mean? He plays know. all kinds of different games. I don't, I don't know. I'm just, just fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Great argument. Yeah. <laughs> What's basement. your rebuttal? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I I bet you that if you if you made a tweet out and you just said like, "Hey, indie devs, <laughs> you want your game promoted? Throw some keys at me." You'd probably get like a shitload. I bet you. I think maybe. Yeah. I mean, I, I'd be like, pause though. If you just, I, you know, if you're not gonna like it, you're not gonna play it type of thing. So I, I'd feel bad if people were sending me if I did that and I got a bunch of keys. It's like, oh, but your game kind of sucks. So I'm not gonna play it. <laughs> like such a dick. Oh right, there oh. there was one company that did want me to play a game, but their their terms were a bit weird. Like, 
I didn't. I I I, I can obviously say something, but at, I in the video I had to tell people to go check it out, no matter like. So it's like I. If, what if I hate it? Am I like, yeah, this game fucking sucks. Go check it out. Uh, you, like, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just go, go just... see for yourself how bad it is. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. guys. I think wolf. I think of the most. Oh god. Oh, <laughs> well, we know what they do if you say their shit sucks. I'm I'm, I'm been assessed to that. I don't want this podcast taken down. <laughs> <laughs> Dude's got his attorney on speed dial. Yeah, but uh, eh, not that uh, ah a little bit. A little bit. So is that that's it for? Wait, there's there's more there, here. <laughs> there's more here. Uh, so, Co. <laughs> yeah. Do you? The world wants to know. Sit or stand, fold or scrunch. Forward or backwards. <laughs> Do you sit or stand to wipe? Is what he's asking. Co knows. Don't oh knows. man, I I bend. What I stand mean, in man? front of the toilet and then I bend over and then shoot it back and forth <laughs> like uh, silly winks. <laughs> I call it shit. <laughs> I just shit. see you like bending over to touch your toe. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then I just crab my way over into the shower and turn a shower on because I couldn't afford to have a bidet installed. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get all the muffins out between your toes. Yeah. I don't even take my clothes off. I just, I just do that, and I, when I'm soaked and clean, I just pull my clothes back on. Uh, and I, get out. I like I like to think you never put them on in the first place. Yeah, most of the time, you know. Only if I have stream to go naked. outside. Yeah, dude. Hashtag guys night. <laughs> Just in we, case you come over. I'll be accepting this. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Are we accepting? But now what's, what's the folder scrunch thing going on here? Well, do you oh, oh, toilet oh, paper oh. or do you scrunch it all up? Yeah, I ball? guess I answered that, didn't I? Well, yeah, because yeah. you just... We'll just <laughs> he uses a uh, modern day bidet. <laughs> Showers. <laughs> yeah. Upside down bidet. He goes down to the fire department. Clean me off, boys. <laughs> Wake me up, boys. Uh, oh, man. That'd be like sounding in a different way. <laughs> <laughs> High pressure sounding. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Apparently, man. there's a new question that. Yeah, I'm worried if I should answer this now, given the last answer. But peeing in the shower. Yes or no? Now, are, you're asking, is, is it okay or is it not okay? Or are you asking, do you do it? Yeah, it specifically, well, I, says, I, okay or no? Well, I, I think I think if you think it's okay, then the chances are you probably do it. So mm. we all know George Costanza's stance on this. I don't. I'm not saying you have to. You must. It's just you know, if you're in the shower and you need a pee, do you get out and take the toilet? Or Why are you just, questioning that? Why the fuck don't the you pee before the shower? The yeah. Your, the hell. What? 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 Why don't you pee before the shower? Like, no, what if you didn't need to pee. Like, this is here. This is how it normally happens to me. I don't feel the need to pee, so therefore I don't. I don't just ask my piss, hey, buddy. We help oh, me out here about to get the shower before we left. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but like, so just like, like the shower. shower. You get the like shower. the sudden need to like urinate just hit you like two minutes yes. into the shower. It's Holy all, it's fuck! All I got a piss. Let's just let it go. Like, yes. that's never happened to me. Wait till you get older. See, I'm so, only asking for clarification on the question because it's some people might be might think it's okay and not do it, and some people could even be the opposite. Here, they let's rephrase think, it. Do you pee in the shower? Yes or no? There you go. Now there's a question. I do not personally. I do not, and I heard some shocking fucking news that one of my roommates does, and that's fucking <laughs> disgusting. Oh, well, your roommate? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Dude, it doesn't matter. It's all fucking. It's it all does pipes. matter. Like stanza. It's all pipes. That's what I said. Is there's, there's fucking science to this. Because, you know, if you take like um, like a, a UV lamp to a bathroom, the, the, the thing is, is that because guys stand up to piss, it creates this splash cloud that actually goes way fucking higher than you think it does. Oh, like way nice. like up on the walls and stuff and all over everything beside. Jesus. So... The question I have is, is, if you piss in the shower, is that what's happening? Is it like making this cloud of piss that's going up and getting all over like the... Can oh, I change oh, my... Uh, and the loofahs? Like, like, what, if, so what if they hang a loofah right there by the... I want to change my <laughs> favorite war weapon as a piss bomb. Because <laughs> apparently there's a piss cloud. What the fuck? If you, if, well, it's even worse if you drink a lot of pineapple juice. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It burned your face off. Your bathtub leaks into the room downstairs. Oh... <laughs> uh. 
So am I the only one here that thinks it's okay to pee in the shower? Do you pee in the shower we're at hotels, dude? No, you know what? No, no, no. The question is, do you do it? I think I don't. I don't think it's that bad. I don't do it myself, but I don't think it's a big deal. So in my eyes, you're you're safe, dude. If you're if you're living by yourself, yeah. But like, I don't. I don't know. That's dude, 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 it's, it's sterile. Yeah. Fine then. At Pax, I'm just gonna fucking piss on you, and if you get pissed yeah. at me, <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, dude, it's fucking sterile. Like sterile, bro. <laughs> I made a glass full for you here. <laughs> like, well, he's he's not uh, you know. Talk in. What, what's his name? The, the the guy that drinks his piss. What's his name, Baz? You know him? <laughs> oh no, no, Bear Grill. It's Bear no, no, Grill. It's, there it's, it's Budge Grills. <laughs> um, yeah, but that, that, that's certainly you know if if, if you. I don't understand that you don't experience the sudden need to pee whenever water. Like this yes, is why it works. Whenever you, water, man. Whenever you it put does. someone's hand in in a, in a cup of water while they're sleeping, that's why they pee on themselves. See, like, it does. But then I'm like, oh, I should piss before I step in the shower. Then I go piss in the toilet. So you get out of the shower wet. <laughs> no. When I hear the sound, I have to go to the bathroom. So that's it's not when... the sound that does it to me. It's the. F- I think it's the, different the for everybody. Like for me, if I open up the like freezer, I was about to like, say that a too. Midnight snack. It's like, oh shit! When I have to piss all of a sudden. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That does that's, not. That's, that's yeah, that does not happen to me. Every yeah. time I, that's, I say I'm exactly with with Co. Whenever I go make a drink or something, I get some ice. I'm like, shit, I got to pee now. I can't make but this the, drink. I have to pee. The water sound doesn't do it for me though. It never has. But it's I know it does feeling. for a lot of people. Yeah. It does nothing for me. Okay, I didn't realize there was such controversy with this. I've, I've been peeing in the shower since I was little. No one ever told me not to. Please ask me this. Do you, <laughs> well, you pee in the shower whenever pool, at so. conventions? Yeah, man, I pee in the shower all the time. Oh, that's fucking disgusting. I've you know my wife's leg before, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> what? <laughs> nice. I, I, I bet if there is a pocket full towel, so it's actually quite good for your skin, especially in your feet, because it's sterile. And, but really? Oh, I, I, mean, I, I always aim for the drain. I, I aim for the drain. I don't like to cover the walls. <laughs> like, woo, this is my territory now. It's just <laughs> like, here's a drain, and my, my urine's going to go down it with the rest of the water. You dab a little bit on your cheeks here and there for some exploitation. <laughs> <laughs> Get some of those pheromones out there. Oh. <laughs> a little bit of aftershave. I'm, I'm creating a straw poll, and I'm gonna put it at the end of the or in the descriptions, and I want to see it. What you guys, if you guys piss in the shower or not? It's just do you urinate in the shower? Yes or no? That's it. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Have you? No, it's. It's, if you have, oh, it's like, right, no, fair enough. is it like, dude, oh shit, I actually pissed in this shower. Like, <laughs> I have another one. Kind of goes back to Co and his pooping. Uh-oh. Um, <laughs> if you're if you're taking a poop and you know you're about to get in the shower, in fact, you've already gotten naked. You're ready to just get in the shower, but oh, I gotta poop. So you poop. Do you wipe or do you just yep. in the shower? Yep. Wipe. Yep. You always wipe. Yes. Oh, man. No, you don't. Yeah, yeah. Wipe. No, I will. I probably won't be as as efficient as I normally am. <laughs> yeah, okay. Shit. I I, shit. I also wipe. I was just curious. No, you don't. You probably just say that now. No, 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 no. Don't put Yeah, this right. Stuff. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> you get out of the shower, there's just like poop particles on your, <laughs> your <laughs> fucking <laughs> ankle. Yeah, like oh well, I forgot to wipe, I guess. Sitting to wipe. That's why I don't understand how people can stand to wipe. You have to stay remain seating so that like if there's any dingleberries, they don't <laughs> join the wall. I, I learned a new word the other day, which is brown ballerina. What? Oh, gross. Huh? What's that? When your finger goes through the toilet paper. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you hate that? Oh, That's why man. scrunch is kind of effective. You know, when it's not my own toilet paper, I think I do scrunch. I was thinking about it the other day when I was in the hotel and I was wiping. I was like, well, yeah, like if you're at Walmart oh. and it's like one ply. That reminds yeah. me. That reminds- I think this whole thing about forward, backwards, sitting, standing thing is because the toilets uh, are, are, in the UK, all our toilets are pretty much identical. But over here, I've seen several different sizes and shapes. Um, and the toilet we've got here, it's I'm finding it quite difficult to, to wipe in the normal manner. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm inclined to, to standing up for the first time, uh, I think, ever. And why, I don't you think, just, why don't you just do the lean, man? Well, that's what I normally do. But... <laughs> What's prohibiting you from leaning? It's the shape of the, the shape toilet nearby. What's going on? It's long and narrow. It's weird. Do you have like one foot in the bathtub? What's going on? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what you need is a hose hooked up to the sink and just a couple spritzes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought you just go to the shower, Co. Well, you know, I have to have a travel version. <laughs> <laughs> the travel. Well, you just bring a fucking hose with you wherever you go. 
Also, I've heard some people use uh, wet naps for some extra. No, oh, man, though the like, the wet wipes. Those are like I said. Those are fucking. Those are, those are meant for gods. Those are like <laughs> they, those are for the special days. <laughs> I, I remember going to a friend's house as a child, and they didn't have any toilet paper, and they had sponges. What? what? Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. Did, did you? What? I did don't. You? I don't actually recollect what I did. <laughs> You probably <laughs> stood about <laughs> screaming for like ten minutes. Or someone yeah. like, no, no, we should stop. We should stop because he has this. He probably has this memory repressed, and we don't want to like they, bring this up and have like a fucking mental breakdown. No, 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 no. What no. the fuck did I do, Mike? Did I sponge my asshole? Someone I want to know one percent of these details. Did they have like a? Did they have like a sponge dish where they sat? Oh no! Oh, they shared <laughs> sponge. Did, you at least got to have your own sponge, no, 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 right? No, no. I think they were on a rack on the in on the uh, over the oh, bar. Yeah. Yeah. In the yeah, wait, it is, yeah. It's going back in like thirty odd years now. So you know. wait, wait, just like anything you see in somebody's bathroom, you accuse them of using it to wipe their ass with. <laughs> <laughs> there was just a sponge, and he's like, "Yep, they got to use that. That's what they use." <laughs> <laughs> My God, plug in here. What your- <laughs> oh I'm my God! Pretty sure insight something. into the mind of Budge. Yeah, budge the butt. <laughs> We're done. Anyways, oh, if yeah. you guys have questions to send us, be sure to email us at podcast at mycracklp.com and be sure to put uh, podcast in the subject line. And please stop asking if we know people's faces. We um, There's like 50% of those questions are just like, Do like that. It so looks like. Yeah. Yeah. So, no, we don't. <laughs> there. Thank you so much for listening. What? Nothing. We're, cool. we're done, man. We're done. We're done. <laughs> Jesus. Wait, where can you find Co? I was just going to say, yeah. thank you so much okay. for listening. You can find Co-Star at YouTube.com slash Co-Star. And what's your Twitch channel? Also Co-Star? It is indeed. Okay. Same with uh, Twitter. It Same is. With it is thank you so much for uh, joining us, Co. And uh, we will see you guys next week. Maybe. Thanks for having me, guys. Bye. 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 Round ballerina. <laughs>